So you want to know all about this great ancient battle, the Battle of Cannae took place on the 2nd of August, 216 BC, but you don't want to read 20 books. That's okay. I've done the reading for you. I'll sum it up as simply as I can. But let's discuss the key elements, terrain, formations, that sort of thing. So these books on the uh, right-hand side here, they represent hills, sloping terrain. These rulers here represent a river. The river was called the Alphidus River. So the Romans start with 86,000 men. They had about 10,000 in camp. They had about 70,000 infantry. And they had about 6,000 cavalry split up into two groups. The overall leader was Varro, and he was in charge of the Allied cavalry. Paulus was a co-consul, and he was in charge of uh, the Roman citizen cavalry. The previous year's consuls, Attilius and Servilius, were in charge of the infantry units, the legions. They were heavily armed. And these lightly armed troops in the front formed a skirmishing line, and they basically were spear throwers. They were called velites, or velites. The Carthaginians were under the command of Hannibal, and Hannibal had deployed his troops in this way. He left a garrison in camp to protect from the Romans attacking his camp. He had a lot more cavalry, a significant amount. He had 10,000 cavalry, and uh, they were divided up into heavy and light. <clears throat> the heavy cavalry put by the river opposite their Roman counterparts under the command of Hasdrubal. They outnumbered them two to one, 6,000 to 3,000. Hanno had light cavalry over here. They were light Numidian cavalry. Uh, in front, he had Balearic slingers that threw pellets and stones. And they also were, they were there were spearmen that were uh, mixed in with them. His best infantry units, his heavy infantry units, were the Libyan cavalry, and he held them in reserve in column on both of his flanks. And in the middle, he had a mixture of Spanish and Celtic infantry, and he mixed them together in hybrid units, and he led them forward so that they were in a crescent shape, a very thin crescent shape. So these were the starting positions of the battle that day.